Hey you guys, this is Mr. Millings and today we're going to learn about dilution. And then we're going to use the dilution formula to solve several different types of problems relating to dilution. So what is dilution? Well it says right here that dilution is the process of adding more solvent to a solution. So anytime we're adding more solvent or water to a solution, we are causing that solution to be less concentrated and more diluted. We are diluting the solution. So let me provide you with an example here. Each year uh, at the school here, we end up buying super concentrated hydrochloric acid. 12 molar hydrochloric acid is some of the strongest hydrochloric acid that you can buy. And what we end up purchasing is about 1.5 liters of this stuff. And this 1.5 liters of this stuff ends up lasting us all year, even though it's not that much. So how does 1.5 liters of this stuff go around? And how is it, how is it being used for you know, thousands of students here? Well, what we end up doing with this stuff is we end up diluting it. Okay, so what we do is we take this concentrated hydrochloric acid, where if it got on your skin, it would cause some severe damage. If you got it in your eyeballs, uh, it might make you blind. Uh, it can do some severe damage. This is some pretty nasty stuff. So we don't want students to use this. So what we end up doing is we diluting it. Or, I'm sorry, we dilute it. And the way that we do that is we add water. Now technically you should always add acid to water and not water to acid, but for purposes of this example, we're going to go ahead and just add water. All right, so what we do is we add water to this. Okay, so let's suppose I want to set up a lab, right? And I need to end up making about 0.5 liters of this hydrochloric acid solution here. And I want it to be fairly diluted. I, I don't want it to be strong in case it ends up getting on your skin or in your eyeballs it's not going to do any damage. So I want to make a one molar solution of this stuff. How do I end up doing that? How can I take, how can I figure out how many liters of this stuff, this super concentrated stuff, I'm going to need to make a more dilute solution of this volume right here? How can I figure that out? Well, we can use the dilution formula. Okay, the dilution formula to figure this out. So let's take a look at this dilution formula and then let's work some problems out using the dilution formula. So the dilution formula states that M1 times V1 equals M2 times V2, where M here, or the capital M here, stands for the molarity of the solutions in moles per liter, and V here stands for the volume of the solution in liters. Okay, so let's suppose, for example, we have some super concentrated hydrochloric acid here, right? So this is very concentrated hydrochloric acid. We'll say it's 12 molar HCl. And what we want to do is we want to make a more dilute solution. So we want to make one molar hydrochloric acid. And we only want to make, say, one liter of this stuff. How can we do this? Well, we can use the dilution formula to figure this out. Okay? For example, this right here would be your M2. This right here would be your V2. And this right here would be your M1. And then what we can end up solving for is V1 by plugging it into the dilution formula. Okay, so another way to think about the dilution formula is this. Okay, the more concentrated solution will be your M1 and your V1, and the more diluted solution will end up being your M2 and V2. Okay, so when you come across word problems, that's a good way to spot M1 and V1 and M2 and V2. The more concentrated solution will be your M1, the less concentrated solution will be your M2. And then the corresponding volume to that solution will be V1, et cetera, et cetera. So let's take a look at this uh, dilution formula and apply it to several different examples. All right, so in this problem here, it says what volume of 12 molar sulfuric acid is going to be needed to make 1.500 liters of a 1.500 molar solution of H2SO4? So when we come across these dilution problems, the first thing I like to do is take a look at what we're trying to make here. And if we take a look, it looks like we're trying to make 1.500 liters of a 1.500 molar solution. So right here, this is going to end up being your V2. This is what we're trying to make. And this is the concentration of that. So this is going to be your M2. Okay, so if we have a stock solution here, it says that we're dealing with 12 molar H2SO4 here. This is going to be what you're starting with. Okay, so the volume here is what we're trying to find. We want to know how much of this stuff right here we're going to need to make a more dilute solution. So right here, what we end up having is M1 equaling 
12, and we're trying to find V1. We want to know how much of this stuff we're going to need to make this stuff right here. And it looks like the molarity of the new stuff is going to end up being 1.500. And the volume of this stuff, sorry, this should be capital M, capital M. And the volume of this stuff here is going to end up being 1.500 liters. Okay, So there we go. Let's take a look at this problem here. We need to find V1. So we know that M1 times V1 is going to equal M2 times V2. And in this problem, we're solving for V1. So we'll remove that M1 from the left-hand side. They'll cancel here. And so now V1 is going to equal M2 V2 all over M1. And so M2, we're trying to make 1.500 molar solution, 1.500 molar times V2. Sorry, this should be a 2 right here. V2 is 1.500. And we're going to end up dividing this by M1, which is 12. Okay, we'll put the answer up top here. So we'll get our calculator out and take 1.500 times 1.500. And we'll divide that by 12, and we should end up with 0.1875. So it looks like we're going to need 0 0.1875 liters of this stuff here. So we'll put that in our little beaker here. But what if the question asks for you to figure out how much water you're going to need to dilute this? So the question is, how much water would you need to dilute this? Well, you would then take the 1.5 liters here, and you would subtract this. And that would tell you just the amount of water that you would need to dilute this to make this solution right here. So let's take a look at one of those problems where we're asked to calculate how much water we're going to have to add. All right, in this problem here, it says how much water must be added to make 2.5 liters of a 2 molar solution of hydrochloric acid from 16 molar hydrochloric acid. So if we take a look here, first thing I like to do is see what we're trying to make. It looks like we're trying to make 2.5 liters of a 2 molar solution. So this right here will be your V2. This right here will be your M2. And it says from. So from indicates that this right here will end up being the stock solution. And it looks like this right here has a molarity of 16 molar or is 16 molar solution. Okay, so we have some uh, 16 molar hydrochloric acid here. And what we're going to end up doing with this is we're going to make a smaller or a, a more diluted solution of this stuff. And we're only going to end up making about two and a half liters. So it looks like the molarity of this new stuff is going to be 2 molar. And the volume of this stuff that we're trying to make is 2.5 liters. And so what we first need to figure out is how much of this stuff we're going to need. We need to figure out how much of this stuff we're going to need to put into here. And then the final question is how much water we're going to have to add to this beaker to bring us to the 2.5 liters. So let's first figure out how much of this stuff we're going to need. To do that, we use the dilution formula. M1 times V1 equals M2 times V2. We're solving for V1. So we'll get rid of M1 from the left-hand side by dividing by it. And so the formula that we're going to use to solve this problem here is going to end up being, let's see here, V1 equals M2 V2 over M1. So what is M2 in this problem? Well, it's two molar solution that we're trying to make. What is V2? We're trying to make two and a half liters of it. And the starting solution has a molarity of 16. So we'll put this in our calculator. And we end up with 0.313 liters. All right, this cancels out, leaving us with liters. So we just figured out how much of this we're going to end up putting into this beaker. 
And now the final question is how much water? The question says how much water must be added? So the way that we figure that out, the way that we figure out how much water we're going to need is to take V2 minus V1, right? So we take 2.5 minus 0 0.313, and we end up with 2.187 liters. Okay, so the final question says, how much water are you going to need? You're going to need 2.187 liters mixed with 0.313 liters of this concentrated hydrochloric acid. Let's take a look at another example. All right, so in this example, once again, it says that if 1.75 liters of nitric acid is used to make 5 liters of 1.2 molar nitric acid, then determine the concentration of the nitric acid that was used. So what are we making here? It says we're making 5 liters of this stuff, right? So V2 is going to be 5 liters. And the concentration of this solution that we're making is going to be 1.2 molar, right? It also tells us that we have 1.75 liters of this stuff. So V1 is going to be 1.75 liters. And we want to know now what the concentration of this solution is. So we want to find M1. Right? We're asked to determine the concentration of this stuff right here. All right. So in this problem here, we know that M1 times V1 equals M2 times V2. And we're asked to find what M1 is. So I have to get rid of V1 from the left hand side here it will cancel and so to get the starting molarity of this solution it looks like we take M2 times V2 and divide it by V1 so M2 in this problem is 1.2 molar V2 in this problem is 5 liters and V1 in this problem is 1.75. We'll put our answer up here. And so what will the molarity of this stock solution be? Let's find out. We end up with 3.429. This unit cancels out with this unit, leaving us with a capital M. Okay, so M1 is going to equal 3.429 capital M or molar. All right, so that is the molarity of this solution, and uh, this is dilution, and I hope this was helpful.